Okay, a lot of times you just have table data and you want to figure out how to get probabilities out of them. So they can be a little bit confusing. Um, the very first thing you do is you should total your columns and your rows. So notice all I did from the previous slide is just add a total for my rows and a total for my columns. So I just added everything up. And as you can see, based off of this table data, we have males, females, and we have different job types of 155 people. All right, from here now, we could get actual probabilities from this table. Let's say I want to know, based off of this data, what's the probability somebody's a female? Well, just take a look, go down the total females divided by the total sample size. If I want to know the probability of a male, notice I take the total male and then divide it by the total sample size. Now, one thing you should notice is, did you notice these two probabilities add to one? And they should, right? Because there's only male and females and, and so on. So say I want to know the probability they're a professional. Well, now here I read across the row total and then divide by the total of the sample size. What if we want to know intersections? That's actually what each of these cells are. This is an intersection of male and managerial, managerial and female, professional and male, and so on. So if I want to know the probability that they're female and managerial, I go to female and managerial, which is only three, and then of course out of the total. Not very many female managers. We might have a problem with this company, right? All right, if I want to know if they're male and technical, so I just go down the male, I find the technical, 52. And then notice all of these, you're just dividing by the total sample size. What if I was asked, is sex independent of job type? So I want to know if there's an independence between the probability, depending on the sex, if they're male or female. Well, if you watched the last video on intersections and independence, you know this formula already. If events A and B are independent, then the probability of A and B equals the probability of A times B. Remember the probability of A and B, the intersection, are these here in the middle that we can get probabilities from. The probability of, say, A could just be what we just did, the probability of a male or the probability of a female. So let's try one. Let's say, for example, find the probability. I'm just picking any one. Find the probability managerial and female. So that was the one we did earlier. So managerial and female. If sex is independent of job type, then the probability of managerial and the probability of female, I should be able to multiply these and get this answer. And I multiply them and I see, nope. So these are definitely not independent events.